The results of AI tools like Midjourney are amazing and mind-blowing. Suddenly everybody can order a piece of art or a design from the machine. But is there real value in it? In our case, can you create a convincing watch design with AI only? I've tried it. Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and our topic today is very special. It's the AI, it's watch design by AI. And a little bit of background, I'm learning right now to use AI for my day job as a journalist in local news because it can fasten some processes and the industry is adopting that technology very quick and so I think it's important not, stay, not to stay behind and so I'm learning it right now. And then I was curious, can you do a watch design with AI. And I have a bit of knowledge of art and I have a bit of knowledge of design, but I'm not a pro, absolutely not. I'm not on the level of a professional designer, but I'm able right now to use Midjourney that program in form of a chat where you can give commands or prompts and then the AI will generate images for you according to your commands. But I wanted to make it somewhat difficult, not only type in create a wristwatch, I wanted to create a wristwatch for a certain audience. And then I thought, well, let's make it even, even better. Let's make a wristwatch for one or two celebrities everybody knows. For celebrities, they are well known for their taste or at least for a distinctive um, look. And then I googled a bit around and found Kate Blanchett and Ryan Gosling. And so the task for this video was to create a wristwatch for them. And it took more time than expected. I've learned way more than expected. And it was more fun than expected. And you will see why right now. Okay, ladies first, let's start here with Kate Blanchett. When I make these noises, please ignore them, but I have to scroll sometimes through my Discord chat here to find the commands to find the prompts. And the first prompt I've used was just Kate Blanchett's watch. And here you see, um, yes, you see some something. You really see something. You see Kate Blanchett, surprisingly good. You see some yeah clocks behind her, but not a wristwatch. On her on her wrist you see very weird bracelets with no resemblance of a watch. So very, very strange. And her little finger there is a bit odd too. Um, and so this doesn't make any sense. We have to see though that the rendering quality of her face is perfection. This is photorealistic perfection. Also very good is the lighting. As far as I can see, it's very consistent. You see some reflections on that table and the, and the shadows are correct as far as I can see. And so impressive, but we cannot see here Kate Blanchett's watch. And then I changed the prompt to somewhat like 54 old female movie star living in Los Angeles with a tendency to gold and design classics that I've Googled, of course. You can find her, her watches online and her wardrobe and stuff. And so I prompted that together with a, with a ratio for the image and some parameters you can type in. And at first glance, stunner, absolutely stunning vintage watch. The uh, machine took the gold a bit too, too serious because you have that sort of gold nugget as a prop left from the watch. And but overall it looks pretty decent. But now the details. The crown has a big indentation there on the right side. Pretty interesting is that the thing modeled a correct dolphin handset and the tip of the minute head is somewhat somewhat crooked because of the distraction by the crystal. And so this is pretty amazing. Then a major problem with watch design is that the AI doesn't know numerals. It places just some numbers on the dial and here by coincidence it looks right. You have 12, 6, 9 and yeah the 3 um, is somewhat randomly chosen and I think also the 1 in the date window is a random line. It's really not a 1. It's just a bit of luck the machine had there. What's pretty convincing and beautiful is the bezel. You see there a sort of iced out bezel with tiny, tiny fragments of diamonds and gold or mix. And so this looks pretty, pretty amazing, to be honest. But again, if you go closer, then you see that's a bit more of a texture. Also, the writing on the dial. I mean, there's a crown type of thing for the logo. Then there's a fantasy logo, uh, fantasy writings all over the dial. But the dial itself is a stunner, perfectly modeled 
um, champagne or golden colored sunburst effect a dial and the modeling here is insane also the rendering of the crystal if you see the reflection there and how it affects the gold of the indices this is just amazing but overall i think the ai got it wrong because i typed in watch for a 55 or 54 year old woman and it created a watch from 1954 because this looks very vintagey and i think kate blanchett the real kate blanchett wouldn't wear that piece and so conclusion here pretty much nonsense but we um, see when we compare these images here that the thing is insanely good when it goes to textures, materials, dials, lightings, that kind of stuff. It's just amazing. And now let's go to Ryan Gosling. You see, again, a bit of chaos because my first prompt was just Ryan Gosling's watch. And that was it. And this is the result. The gentleman there looks a bit like Ryan Gosling, but you see the difference in... in in precision when we compare this with Kate Blanchett. So the face is there, but it looks a bit artificial and it's not really Ryan Gosling. Now to his wristwatch. Well, we find two watches there in front of his right arm. You see something big um, leaning against his arm. Very weird. Also the spoon, by the way, is very weird. And on his left wrist, you see something like a pocket watch on a yeah very weird metal bracelet. We see this classic bar bar scenery they're well well done again lighting is perfect and the textures and i mean look at the glass of water there this uh, this is just insane this is just insane but watches oh no we cannot see interesting watches here this doesn't make any sense and so i've prompted then what is his age 42 year old movie star lives in hollywood is inspired or like 60s and 70s design um, which is uh, a, a real fact I've googled and then the AI came up with this here and I thought wow this is interesting at first glance this looks very convincing and I can imagine this thing on on Ryan Gosling's wrist and again we see marvelous textures if you see this this metal case the brushing of the metal case this radial brushing looks a bit random like the watch was heavily worn then you even can see some dust particles on top of the watch and you see this table with some scratches on it and it's just 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 perfect but then problem begin um here you see clearly what uh, what i meant when i said the ai has no idea what a numeral on a watch should be what it uh, the, what the function is so you have a sort of a 12 on position 12 sort of a 12 on position 3 then you have an 8 on position 6 and 6 on position 9 it doesn't make any sense whatsoever we have again a mess of a logo and a mess of a track there's a minute track in the intersection of the dial see this and this isn't a track this is just something randomly uh, put together also the yeah what is it swiss made on position eight here uh, doesn't make so much sense and so and, and also these red accents they look a bit flamboyant a bit like feathers a bit like spilled blood and so i think nobody would ever produce such a watch and interestingly it couldn't make a decision whether ryan gosling should wear a yeah, square case or a rather conservative case this was another another try and at first glance you see a pretty decent looking watch because the textures are again super super crisp and good but again the details are crappy the bracelet is somewhat weird all right but we can look over this but look at the hands the hands this form doesn't make any sense also the indices look very roughly modeled the scales are a complete mess and there is that a that sort of a in the date window and there you see again that the machine cannot um, cannot see the reason behind this date wheel and the date was a bit crooked and overall just a mess but again textures are not from this world look at the varnish on the table there you have this little varnish structure when you apply varnish with the sort of roll then you see this structure or again the the reflection on the crystal just brutal just 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 nice and then i was a little curious and i prompted my own prompt into the machine so the watch i would like and i prompted some yes yeah, some influences and some basic specifications and the thing went wild <laughs> look at this um yeah i yeah i typed in that i would like to implement the case back cobra into the watch in a very subtle 
um, very subtle version. I wrote something like um, I'm engraved into the dial under the hands and this is what the thing made out of it. And I mean, it's fascinating, especially the, the version two there, upper right corner. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, it's very hard to tell what it actually is, but it looks fascinating. And again, you see the numerals are a mess. One, two, seven, one, nine, twelve, eleven. I don't know. Very, very crazy. But when you see the version three, the, 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 the big golden block in the left bottom corner, this, I mean, this could be a watch case actually for a very, very uh, high potential brand. You see these, these golden patterns there. Pretty amazing. Also version 4 with these flamboyant dials. And there are not too many watch details. So the amount of mistakes is very small here. But I think this is pure luck. This is sheer coincidence in luck. And I sent this to Cormac Henley 47.0. I have his, his watches here in the shop. And then he asked me how long it would take to let the AI create something like his Einstein. So Albert Einstein's asymmetric brain on a watch dial. And I said to him, um, years, <laughs> because it's crazy, it's complex. And um, this is the prompt where I said, put Albert Einstein's asymmetric brain on a watch dial engraved into the dial and some other aspects. And this is the result. And of course, it's sheer nonsense. It looks in a way fascinating, but it's not even close to a real watch. It looks yeah, a bit like film props that you see for a second or two and then it goes away and the action and the action starts again. And my last interesting experience was um, that I introduced my little daughter, 10 years old, to this to this mid journey thing. And then um, she wanted to see a dancing little girl with brown hair. And the first versions were very old school and she wanted something like a jumpsuit uh, and, and chucks and a dancing school in the background and in the style of, let's say, street art. And this was the result. And she wasn't impressed at all. She wasn't impressed at all. I told her, look, this is very well drawn and well created and well made. You must find this interesting, don't you? And she was not impressed. She said, this is very nice. And then she went back in her room to her uh, color pencils and uh, making another piece herself. And this was somewhat an eye-opening moment when I found out that the kids are not impressed. And I think I have to give this a, a deeper thought. I have no idea what to make out of it right now, but there will be a, a yeah, meaning in that. Okay, welcome back. And now the question, what can we make out of this? And my verdict here is that right now we see something a bit like a movie prop or a very bad movie or a very bad actor. I'm not speaking about Ryan Gosling and Kate Blanchett, they are great. No, I'm speaking about a movie or a person who presents a surface, a marvelous polished surface, but there's very little substance. There's very little real life and very little re real drama and very little real intellect. And so right now it's not very useful if you want to s create something with real value in it. And I've spoken about my kid in the last, in the last seconds of that, of that segment. And now we're some days later and I realized that even I cannot feel the enthusiasm of the first hours using the AI because you, you get used of these high polished images very quickly and then you are just, on the look, our brain, our brain is searching for logic and for reason and value for creativity and, and a real character. And that's this you cannot find, at least right now you cannot find this in, in the example, examples I've created here. But we are at the beginning of a yeah, development, we have to see that. And so I personally will continue to use the AI for more professional reasons. And I would like to encourage you to do the same. I mean, hiding your head in the sand, I think it's not a good strategy, but you can ask yourself where in your life do you have tasks that are exhausting, boring, you don't learn anything from it. They consume valuable time. And exactly this could be the opportunity to solve all these boring tasks with, an, with help of an AI so that you have more time to be a creative human being. All right, and that's the end of this video. Let me know in the comments, please, if you like to see episode two with another two celebrities. By the way, I tried to create Django Reinhardt in the, in the style of Hergé. It was a complete disaster because the AI thought I'm uh, talking about Django Unchained. So I had a lot of Western there. And the real musician Django Reinhardt, I'm a deep fan of Django Reinhardt, 
is nearly forgotten, I'm afraid. At least it's not in the AI, which can be a huge chance for artists out there. All right, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see part two and let me know whose watch you like to see. Maybe he or she's already dead or he or she has never lived, fictional character, never worn a watch. We can do whatever we want now. So in part two, I could present you two more wrist watches if you want, only in case you want that. Okay, and now we're really at the end of this video. If you want to see more handmade stuff or little sneak previews, updates on Instagram, then follow me there. It's casebig underscore Tim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention and until next time.